Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to ShortSalePowerHour.com. My name is Fred Weaver. My partner Kevin Kaufman is uh, sending an email because we just had a closing here. And uh, you're watching ShortSalePowerHour.com, uh, Group 4610, Arizona's premier short sale team. So hope you enjoyed yesterday's uh, world's longest short sale power hour video. It's making it in the Guinness Book of World Records for short sale power hour videos. And today, I'd like to turn our attention to a topic that's not about short sales, but is about short sales. And it's actually, I'd like to talk around loan modifications. Um, we hit on them from time to time on this show, but we don't ever really go too deep into them. And I know we've got a lot of agents out there that watch this show. We've got a pretty good amount of uh, bank employees or banks, I guess I could say, that watch our show. And we've also got some homeowners out there that watch our show. So I'm gonna uh, do my best today to appeal to all of you. Um, I got a call today actually, um, well a couple days ago from when you're watching this video, you're watching it on Tuesday, but I got a call today uh, from a friend of mine and um, they're interested in just knowing what their options are. They're in a place where they're basically spending every month the amount of money that they make. Um, they're not behind on payments, they are keeping their payments up, but they have two kids and literally what's coming in every month is going out every month and they were talking to another friend and one of them told them just to let the home go and walk away. I love those people out there. And another person told them uh, that they should do a modification and in fact said that the bank uh, might be likely to reduce their balance by say for example $100,000 and then just give them a new payment based on the new balance. So let's talk a little bit around that. And I'd like today's episode to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I, guess I, I guess I would say like, uh, participatory. I think that's a word. I'll have to try that on my Words with Friends later to see if that's a word. It's probably too long. Uh, words, words with, with friends. friends doesn't actually just only take real words. Okay, so participatory, meaning that I would like some feedback. You guys did awesome a week and a half ago with uh, giving us feedback on HAFA. I'd like to know what your guys' experience is, is with loan modifications. I'd like to know if you do loan modifications, please share your best and your worst uh, loan modification story. Um, and I'd also like to know um, if anybody has ever successfully completed um, or has seen proof of a successful modification to a principal balance, meaning that somebody used to owe $300,000, say, on their home, and the bank decided that because the home was worth one hundred and fifty, they would rewrite the loan at $150,000, keep the interest rate the same, but of course that would bring the payment down in half. I'd like to know if any of those are going on out there. So. I've been around obviously the whole country. We've taught to thousands of people now. We've got thousands of viewers that watch this on a weekly basis. And I've yet to meet anybody who's done a principal reduction loan modification. Now, I know they exist out there, meaning that I know there's a few of them that have happened. But I think what we might find here when you guys participate with us is that there's probably a few select lenders that are doing them. And let me give you my reason why. And for homeowners out there that are watching this, this is important for you to know. Uh, for banks, if you disagree with me, um, by all means, Navy Federal, Chase, whoever else you are that's out there watching, please comment below and tell us if I'm wrong. And agents, this may not be new to you, but this is my opinion on why banks don't do... Cyber fraud group's going to comment below. Okay. This is my opinion why uh, banks don't do principal reduction modifications. Because if they started doing them at a large enough level, then literally nobody would be incentivized to make their payments. Meaning something like 50% of the country or 40% of the country is underwater on their mortgage. Maybe it's like 35. In Arizona, it's well over 50%. Well, in Arizona, it's like 70%, okay. 80%. Everywhere else, it's not so much, but yeah. So if if they start doing that, like if B of A and Wells and Chase come out tomorrow and, yeah. and hey, yes. you know, yeah, if you could show us you can make a payment at what your house is really worth, we'll just chop the balance in half. Like literally, I they don't do principal reduction modifications in mass. I don't even think they do them in like small number, well, truthfully. You understand that number one. Everybody would want one. I mean, there would be more strategic default than there is already. Yeah. They, they can barely handle the strategic default that's out there now. Correct. And I'll classify strategic default as short sale or foreclosure. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Um, here's what they know. They know a certain number of people are going to strategically default. They've always known that. That's been around since the Depression and before. I, well, I do think, though, that number in their percentage is growing on their spreadsheets on a daily basis. It is growing. But However, they need to do whatever they can to keep that number down. Yes. Meaning, if they start giving away principal reductions, yes. that's going to just increase that number, not bring it down. 
And to a degree, if they start giving away amazing just payment modifications, it also does the same thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If like, they're gonna, the so, idea is to not have non-performing loans on their on their books, meaning well, they don't want loans where borrowers aren't paying. That's the idea. If they're going to, a lot of I hear a lot of people go, well, if they're going to short sell, if they're going to accept a short sell, why don't they just uh, give me a loan at that lower dollar amount and let me stay in the home because it's my home? Well, because they're not going to incentivize you not to make your payments. Yeah. That's just incentivizing somebody not to make payments. But if they can do a short sale, get money today, now go take that take that money or and re-lend, re-lend it out yeah. on a, I'll call it um, a bet higher grade loan if I could, oh, yeah. um, then that's a bigger benefit to the bank than to allow Susie and, and Sally, a homeowner, to stay in their home at a reduced principal amount that just you guys understand it's economics it's just the way it works it's it that's why we always say banks want to do short sales because it really does benefit them more than any of their other options well they get the money the quick yeah so it, if you guys think we're exciting i don't know if you do or don't but there's definitely something more exciting out there on the internet you should go watch there's a, a video out there from like a congressional hearing basically oh, with gosh. some members of Congress um, talking to the CEO of City Mortgage whose name I couldn't pronounce even if I had it written on a piece of paper in front of me but I don't remember right now. Um, a Bank of America representative, a Wells Fargo representative, and I believe a Chase representative. Mm-hmm. I believe the Chase representative was David Loman if I recall correctly. And it's a video out there on the internet. It was uh, from a ch- congressional hearing sometime in April I believe of 2010. And if you really want to watch something more exciting than Kevin and I being highly sarcastic, watch the questions from the members of Congress around principal reduction modifications and go watch the responses of the big four banks. It's absolutely hilarious. And when I say hilarious, I define that as grossly disgusting, not truthful, inaccurate. Um, I don't want to say dumb politics because... Well, first of all, the politicians thinking that the banks would even want to do that, it's dumb to ask that question in my opinion. But second of yeah. all, the big bank people saying, oh yeah, we're doing principal modifications and we're working on it to lie in front of Congress is, is probably as dumb, if not dumber. I don't know. It's perjury. Watch it and go ahead and make your own judgment on it. I'm just stating that you might want to go listen to what the big heads or big representatives from these banks that went before Congress, I think it was April of this year, had to say around principal reductions and modifications. And if you make it all the way through the video, I applaud you. So I don't know where this episode's ending, except to say homeowners that are out there, um, if you're looking for, well, what am I going to do? I really want the bank to chop my money off my loan. They may take a couple hundred dollars off your payments. They're going to tack it on the end, most likely. They may reduce your interest rate for a short period of time and not not extend the years on your loan, but it's going to be like three or five years, and in three or five years, your payment's going to go back up with maybe a cap of 7%, 8%. And the values whatever. are not going to be back where you need them to be in order Guys, to Guys, especially for people in the Phoenix, Arizona area, you owe 300000 against your home. It's maybe worth one fifty. I'll give you 200 Even if we started appreciating in 2011 at 5% a year, not go run happen. a spreadsheet and see how many years it will take you to get back to zero. Modifications are not a solution. No. And I'm going to end this episode, Kevin, by giving a statistic from HAMP itself, the government sponsored modification program. Oh boy. 24.6% of all HAMP modifications are at least currently 30 days delinquent. 246 of all HAMP, which is payment modifications, usually not a principal reduction, Kevin. Yeah. So So one in four is wow. delinquent. One in four HAMP program. This is going to be what saves the world was HAMP, and a quarter of them are already delinquent. Shocking. I'm shocked. This is my shock face. Do you see it? We're going to wrap it up. I'm shocked. One, two, three. Short sale power hour. Short sale power hour. Shock it. I mean, crush it.